Hello guys, I'm Peter from Builder Boeing. I'm sitting here at the Christmas table. Uh, it's Christmas 2024 right now when I'm recording this. Anyway, we're not, I'm not talking about Christmas today. I'm talking uh, to you about this unit, which, which is the uh, automatic factor it's a system. It's a small panel that sits in the Boeing 737 just above the uh, navigation screens. And it tells you if the uh, autopilot or the throttle or, um, is turned off or if there's something you need to be aware of uh, together with the FMC. You probably know this panel. And I bought this and this, this is an OEM panel, which is why I'm making this video, because OEM is always pretty cool. Um, there are still a few available on eBay if you uh, want a similar panel. Uh, I bought it. OEM is never cheap, but a uh, reasonable price, I think. And most importantly, OEM is always very cool. And this is one of the panels that you use quite a lot, actually, because every time you turn off the autopilot, you need to confirm it by pushing this button to uh, silence the disconnect alarm. Well, anyway, I bought this and actually it just consists of a housing, uh, a switch over here, and then these three push buttons. And um, I'll just take one of these out. The push buttons looks like this and has a 28 uh, one light bulb inside yellow and or uh, red well red and or yellow that way around um, depending on which of these three it is and it came with the panel came with these three a toggle switch and a housing and the housing looks like this it just put together and there's nothing on the back here so there's no no plugs there's no nothing here so this is what I bought and while these actually sit uh, wrists in, in, in this but um, and and wrists rest there without the moving they could slide out so I had to make something uh, to hold them in place and so much of this OEM conversion for me is always uh, 3d printing things and prototyping and I must say I actually like it doing some measurements um, prototyping the prints see if they fit uh, at uh, change a bit the uh, reprint and so on so forth until at the end you have the perfect perfect piece that will fit your, your panel, like this one, which fits right in here. And there's a small finger, I don't know if you can see this, small finger here on both sides that wraps around this switch. There's, this, there's like a gap here and the fingers, they grab there and holds it in place. And then on the back of this piece, there's this like a small finger that goes back to here and you can mount that with a screw in the sole that holds this piece in place. So that's how it looks like this at the end. This is how the switches are held in place inside. And the switches, they also came with this metal bracket, which I don't know what it does, but I ended up not being able to use it. So they're, unfortunately, they're scrap. So that was the switches. And then we have the housing. I needed somehow to mount this housing inside the cockpit as well. Uh, some sort of bracket that I can mount it onto. And again, prototyping the size, getting the right size for the panels, prototyping, prototyping, prototyping. Ended up a few days ago with this, which is a housing I can slide this into. So it slides in, see if we can get it in like that. And there's like two millimeters of space in here where you can lean it against uh, your panel. And then on the back here, I printed uh, a piece that looks like this that goes on here and then is fastened with two screws and it has hole for two db9 plugs and an extra hole for if you need some additional um, wires coming in or out there's no backlighting in this but this is how i'm going to mount it and then the panel goes here and then with a few holes i'm going to drill holes in this through the panel hold this in place and hopefully hold the entire unit in place and as always I can have my DB9 plugs in the back going to my interface card. Now, these switches, as they are OEM, of course, has the right feel because it is from a real aircraft, but also they run 28 volts, which is not common in our builds. We normally we have five or 12 volts, but I need 28 for this. So I have a power supply that can supply the 28 volts. Next problem is interfacing them because a normal output card would deliver two, three, five volts for um, LEDs, but I need those 28 volts. So I'm gonna use this instead, which is a uh, extension card for Pokies. I've talked a lot about Pokies in my videos, Pokies 56E and uh, 57E cards. They're very good cards for ProSim. They are ethernet based, 
and you can plug this into the Pokies card and it extends the number of outputs with 16 outputs that you have right here. Normally Pokies card are not very good with, with outputs because you need uh, a lot of power and the card cannot deliver that much power. But using this, you can deliver as much power more or less as you want. I think it's half an amp you can uh, have going through this card. And the thing is, you can do it with 28 volts as well. It's independent of the voltage on the board. So 28 volts and you have common uh, cathode here. And uh, I'm gonna um, use this. Hopefully that will be a bliss to you to use. Normally it is with Prosim and Pokies cards. They work absolutely good together. So let's see the panel inside the cockpit. Inside the cockpit and just about to mount this OEM panel in my main instrument panel. And when I'm stressing it's OEM, it's because I want to show you something that's a bit peculiar or annoying or just interesting. I don't know what the correct word is. Depends on your preferences, I guess. My main instrument panel down here is DIY uh, and it's made from open cockpit panels. So this is open cockpits and I've taken most of it out, but I still have the faceplate left here and just want to show you something. Do you spot the difference in size here? It's like the open cockpit version is, is half an inch, one and a half centimeters wider than what they're trying to replicate. I just don't understand it. If you have the original measurements of, of the original panel, why make it so much wider? Why not fit it to the original size? It just blows my mind. I don't understand why. It's the same up here. With the, I know it's the same with the six pack up here and the um, four master caution uh, fire warning. Uh, switches they're too big as well why not make it the correct size here i just i just don't understand it and the problem is i'm, I'm going to show you the problem the problem is i've made this cutout the 3d printed this cutout which fits the oem panel when i fit this panel down here to my existing holes you can see i have holes left over here and that's not going to be covered by the new panel so i'm going to have gaping holes here uh, due to the open cockpit panels being too big. I just don't understand that. Okay, so luckily uh, the postman will uh, will hopefully come by later today. It's been snowing all night, so he might be delayed, but hopefully he'll come by later today with something that can solve this problem. But that's a totally different story for a separate video. But for now, I'll have to live with that hole. Um, and as I'm still using my Fermilux, all that's left to do is to grab a knife and start cutting a hole using the cutout, slide the panel in and plug it in. It's a few hours later now and um, when I made the hole for, for the panel here, some of the paint cracked a bit, so I had to repaint it and had to wait a few hours before I could mount the panel in the main instrument panel here. But now it's there and as you can see when I move, use the test button here, Red, red, amber, and when I push it up, amber, 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 they're all working. Absolutely fantastic. It's running 28 volts, as it is the original light bulbs and uh, OEM. And uh, I've interfaced it using Pokies and something called a Po X Bus 16 card. But I'll do a separate video on that because that card might be of interest to people that's doing something with those odd uh, voltages that uh, we don't have on our normal interface card. So a separate video on that. The paint job I did here isn't perfect, and uh, I reckon it doesn't have to be. Also, I mentioned the holes. You can still see some of the holes here. Well, that will have to do, but hopefully only for about a month or so, because earlier today, while uh, the paint was drying, uh, this arrived, and it is also OEM. It's the panel that goes up here, and uh, I'm going to spend the next month or so figuring out the, figuring out the wiring, wiring it up, getting it ready to be mounted in the cockpit. There's a bit with the um, annunciators here that just need to figure out. And um, I need to install a, a rotary switch there and all different sorts of things. But hopefully the poor paint job and the whole seal will be covered with an OEM panel within the next month or so. So I'm very excited. I'm very happy about this. And I am Peter from Build a Boeing and you guys take care. Bye bye.